Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Envy. I have a brand new style by Envy just released. This is Billy in their Envy hair collection. So this is 70% heat friendly synthetic, 30% human hair. Some of my favorite fibers on wigs that exist today. And that's what this is made out of. Now, this one just launched. For my wig sisters who like short, who like no permities, no poof, low density, you're going to want to check this one out, I think. This is in the color Ginger Cream. If you want to know more, stick around. I said in the beginning, Envy Hair is some of my favorite fiber. Um, the combination of fibers are my favorite on the market right now. And that is no lie, and that includes human hair. I do love my human hair wigs, there's no doubt. But there is something so special about these Envy hair fibers. Granted, I don't have super long-term experience with them. I do, though, have a wig that I have worn what I believe to be the equivalent of about five weeks of wear, full-time wear, uh, in these fibers, and she is going so strong. Her name is Zoe, I do have an update video here on YouTube. These fibers, I think that what they've done is they've taken the best of heat friendly fibers and the best of human hair and they've blended them especially in a straight piece especially in a short piece this is going to last you if you care for it properly I think it's gonna last you years I really do these fibers are so soft so realistic all right, let's start talking about Billy. I want to thank Envy for partnering with me on this I'm not raving about these because I have been gifted a wig I don't want to steer you guys wrong. I'm raving about these because of my Zoe and my experience with Zoe and how much I love that wig. And I will choose that wig often over a human hair wig because of how those fibers behave. So that's what I'm basing it on. But Billy is something really special. So let's take a look at her from all sides. All right, so Billy is a very low density, no permatees, no poof style. You can see she's a shorter, sort of A-line, sort of stacked in the back, but there's not enough real hair and there's no permatees to give it a true stack. It's just sort of a graduated cut back here. Now, I don't know the specs on this one because as I'm filming this, this is not available yet. So it will be available March 1st. I'm sure this video will be out after March 1st. So if you're watching this, it is available now. But I wasn't able to review the specs to find out what the length of the nape is. So here's the thing. I want you to take a look at the length of the nape if you go look at the product page. And I want you to think about if you have experience with short wigs or not, how that compares to your other short wigs. If you don't, I want you to think about two inches and shorter as being, so the two inch is sort of the benchmark of that is the shortest, let's see, two inches and shorter means know your hairline. That's what I'm trying to say. Some of us have a very low hairline in the back and a short nape means that your bio hair risks poking out. You'll want to know that about your own hairline. That will help you make a, a successful choice. If you don't know what uh, length nape you, you need, it'll be a little bit of a trial and error until you figure it out, but I just want to point that out. I think it's super important information for everybody to be aware like of. Like I said, this is low density. There is enough hair to cover the wefting. I'm not worried at all about you being able to see the cap on this one, but there's not a ton of it. It's such a realistic density. If you struggle with wig wearing because every wig you put on feels like too much hair and you can wear a short style like this, this could be one to try. It's just so realistic, it's so flat. Now, for some people, the flatness on this one isn't going to be your preference. Uh, you know, depending on your face size, your face shape, how round your face is, you know, all of those things, you may need a little bit more volume on the top to balance things out. This one does not have any volume and you're not getting any volume on this one. It just doesn't have the hair or the permatease. So no matter how much you want to mess this up, no matter how much product you want to put in here, you're really not getting a lot of lift on the top.
So for some, you're rejoicing. For others, you're moving on. And that not that the way it goes with the wig wearing journey? Now this piece does have a lace front and a full mono top. So you can actually part this one anywhere on the top. It comes, at least mine came, so I'm sure most of them will come, with the part on the left going over to the right. But if you want to change that part, you absolutely can. Now, sometimes parts are stubborn. The fibers have been laying in a box and they want to stay the direction that they're in. That can be worked on with your hands. What I'm doing by doing this a lot is I'm trying to redirect these fibers, or I'm sorry, the knots in another direction because as the all of this on the top is hand tied, each individual strand is tied in individually on an individual knot and you just need to sort of rework those knots, get them to uh, you know change their direction and if you really struggle you can use heat. This is a heat friendly human hair blend. You can use heat on it, you can curl it, you can straighten it and you can use heat to help redirect that part and I have a video where I show you how to use a hot comb to do that but you don't have to have a hot comb. It's just nice and convenient with a short wig or a straight wig like this but you can use a hot airbrush, you can do, use a hair dryer and a comb. There's lots that you can do. Now this does have a long fringe on the top. So if you like bangs, I want you to envision just trimming that up and you've got yourself a really cute cut with some bangs. And that also tamps down a little bit on this A-line longer in the front if you cut a few bangs in. So definitely this could have bangs cut into it. But because this has a lace front, you could also take and clip this front hair up. You could stick it back in a little uh, clip over here or a bobby pin if you want to play up maybe a little bit of volume. So for those of you who aren't sure if you can do something this flat, one of my favorite, because I don't love super flat on top myself, and one of the things I do with short wigs that are really flat is I just do a little poof right there and put a clip in or do it on the sides or do multiple twists. I have a wig where I love to do multiple twists. I twist a little bit and I clip it. I twist a little bit and I clip it. It makes such a fun, cute look and it gives some volume in the front if that's the one thing that you're missing on this piece. Let's take a look at that lace front. So good, you guys. Envy is really knocking it out of the park with their lace fronts and the thing I really appreciate about this color is it's not rooted and so you have no dark knotting. It's really good. Let's take a look at this. Now, it, this also does have an extended lace front. I should have pointed that out. I will point it out when I put it back on. So here's the inside of the cap. Lace all the way down to the ear tabs. There's all of that monofilament. This is silicone. All of the three new styles that they're releasing right now, which I have and I'm showing you guys in various reviews, have the same cap construction and they have the silicone. These ear tabs are so flat. They do not have the velvety material. It's silicone. They do have the bendable stay in there, but it's so flat to the head. So wearing glasses is going to be easy to do with these. You've got an extended nape and we've got Velcro adjusters right there. The rest of this is wefted, which helps keep the price down a bit because these Envy hair uh, fibers are premium fibers. And so it's nice to have, you know, some budget items on this wig and that uh, wefting in the back is a, is helps to keep that price point down just a little bit versus if it were fully hand tied, which they do have some wigs in these Envy hair fibers that are fully hand tied. All right, so let's talk about that lace front. So when I said extended, it's all the way down to the ear tab right here. So if you want to tuck, if you want to take a clip and pull that back, you've got lace that goes all the way down. Now whether or not your bio hair is covered by the lace or sticks out of the lace will all depend on your head size, how this wig fits you, how low your hairline is, but know that this has an extended lace front. And let's talk about fit then. So this wig has a, a moderate amount of stretch. It is not the stretchiest wig I've ever tried on, but it does have some stretch. This wig fits me pretty, gosh, pretty well. I do not get a ton of extra cap up here, a little bit, but I have a 22 inch circumference. This is cinched in tiny, tiny bit. Uh, I do have room to, to take it out a little bit, but I would say this is probably not, it's gonna fit, you know, 22 to 22 and a quarter, probably very comfortably. 
Whether or not it will fit you bigger than 22 and a quarter is going to depend on a lot of things. Your over the top of your head measurements, are those small or are they average? Mine are very petite over the top of my head, even though I have an average circumference. How about your just your personal preference on wig tightness? Do you like your wig snug and tight? Does that give you security or does it give you a headache? So all of those things, you know, it's hard for me to uh, guess how much bigger than me this will fit. But I would say if you're a little bit bigger than me, I think you're going to be okay. If you're very much bigger than me, you might struggle with this one. It does fit me very, very well. You can see how it tucks. Really guys, if you're looking for low density and you like short and you don't want permatees, this should be on your radar. 100% should be on your radar. Before we talk about color, I just want to say one more thing about these fibers. I already mentioned that they are my favorite really out there right now. They are so soft, so silky. They feel like the healthiest human hair and there is not a synthetic shine to these. That is another benefit to these fibers. Not only do they feel like human hair and they would fool anyone, I would put money on it, they do not have shine like synthetic wigs can have shine. So if that's if those are things that are important to you, Envy Hair Fibers could be something to try. All right, let's talk about this color, Ginger Cream. This is a really beautiful, uh, I'm gonna take it off and talk about it as I'm looking at it because that can kind of help me as I'm describing. It's just a beautiful blonde. It's got almost some very light brown low lights in it. I really wouldn't consider this a brunette, but it definitely has some low lights, some bright blonde pieces, no rooting, which I know a lot of my wig sisters uh, can be frustrated with all the rooted blondes out there. It's very dynamic, but not streaky. It doesn't scream high price salon, but it's a beautiful color and it's really pretty neutral. I really consider this neutral. In my estimation to my eye, this looks very neutral. It's not yellow, it's not super warm, I don't see any red, it's not ashy, I don't see any gray. It is right in that neutral that I think is gonna work for a ton of skin tones. And honestly, you can root wigs like this really easily with markers, and I have videos showing you how to do that. So if you love this color and you wish it were rooted, I got you. I can help you with that. It's really easy to do. You can even add some darker low lights if you want to. So don't be afraid to try a color like this, unsure if it'll work for you because there's things you can do. All right, you guys, let's get outside so you can see this beautiful color outside. Nice, neutral blonde. Maybe even a very light brown if you are used to being a super blonde. Thanks for watching, you guys, and thank you, Envy, for sharing your three new styles with me. Billy is going to make a lot of women happy. All right, everyone, we are outside. It is very overcast, but maybe this will be okay. This is one of those colors I need a dark background for contrast, and I don't have one. It's looking even more neutral out here, don't you think? All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you.